Let's take just a moment to talk about how we do arithmetic with mixed numbers. Don't do arithmetic with mixed numbers. Mixed numbers are very convenient for counting things out. They are very inconvenient for arithmetic. What do we do instead? We rewrite our mixed numbers as improper fractions. We do our arithmetic, and then we convert back to a mixed number. So for example, if we wanted to multiply 1 and 2 thirds times 2 and a half, we would convert to improper fractions, right? 1 is 3 thirds plus 2, that's 5 thirds, 2 and a half. 2 is 4 halves, plus 1 is 5 halves. We do our arithmetic, multiplying fractions, so multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, and then convert back to a mixed number. We need to do division for that. 6 goes into 25 four times. So we have four whole things and one sixth. We could also do our mixed number arithmetic on the calculator. We could say, making sure that our mixed number is in parentheses and thinking carefully about what the mixed number means, one and two thirds is one plus two-thirds. Two and a half is two plus one-half. We'll give our answer first as a fraction. That gives us the twenty-five sixths. Um, hmm. Well, let's give that as a decimal so we can see what the whole number part is. And then, what did we do again? We want numbers, ah, F part. And to get that number in, second and the negative sign for answer. and then we convert just the fraction part to a fraction. Four and one-sixth. And that's all there is to it. If we don't have any particular reason for wanting a mixed number, we could also just leave our answer as 25 sixths.